pirate coffee. Woo! Just wetting the lips. Top ones. Can you give me a big R? Ahoy there! If you're new to the channel, I'm Heidi and I live and work aboard my canal boat home, the Rum Wench. I also have a little camper van for those land adventures and this is my little rescue dog, Bonnie, who feels she can take on the world. So I'd love it if you joined a middle-aged woman and a dog faffing about in search of adventure, fun and giggles. Hello, little one. Are you ready to go on an adventure? So today I'm going to be travelling again with my friend Nikki, who's another single-handed boater, and we're going to be tackling the Cheshire Locks, or Heartbreak Hill, as it's often known. Oh, it's because of so many locks. But a lot of them are in pairs, so that means, as two single-handers, we're not going to be setting the lock against each other, so it's going to make it a little bit easier. But then there are some single ones on the way, but we're just going to help each other on those. But people have asked me, how do I single hand a lock going down? So I'll try and show you a little bit of that today because I do it quite different to when I'm single handing a lock going up. Yeah, so, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's go. So our first stop today is going to be Road Heath, which is nine locks away. But let me show you first how I do these locks single handed going down. So once the boat's in the lock, I always take my rope and throw it loosely on the grass. I never tie it round anything, I just have it there to grab quickly because when you're going down in a lock, your boat can get caught on the sill and sink. So I always have the rope to hand. And once the lock is emptied, I open the gates and actually pull my boat through. This means that I don't have to go down the ladders, cruise the boat out, moor the boat up, go back and shut the gates. It's a lot quicker, but it's hard work. And remember that the purpose of locks is to navigate your boat up and down hills. So I've just pulled this one through as well. A lot of Bonnie's driving, look. So in no time at all, myself and Nikki got ourselves into a little bit of a rhythm with the locks and we took it in turns to set them and then we just did our own locks, so it made it a lot quicker. So that's three locks down and only six more to do and I can't remember how many on this flight are actually double locks. Some of them are out of action, they're just completely broken. But that's the joys, but it's the sky has gone very black so I'm hoping it doesn't rain. So as you can see, this is one of the locks that's out of action, completely abandoned and derelict. And it's the same for the lock down there as well. So these are two single locks now. covered in lock jism. It's all over me. This coat was clean on and it's covered in it. The thing is you can't have any smart clothes when you're boating so don't ever expect me to do these videos in nice clothes such as high heels and a nice frock. It just can't happen. Not that I own those things. Yeah you're gonna just live in your boaty clothes and especially now it's winter with all the muddy towpaths as well. So I've just set this next lock now. This one's another abandoned one, can you see? Yeah, no going into it. And my left my boat in the other lock, but it was already emptied. She's half out. <laughs> just showing you now. So I can't remember now how many locks I've done. 
and how many we've got to do. But anyway, coffee time, so cheers. Open it first. Woo! Oh, I earned that. And I'll be having a bloody rum later. Day. Nick has just helped me through it. Her boat's moored here at this other lock, and now we just need to find ourselves somewhere to moor. Oh, fantastic! So we've just got ourselves all moored up here at Road Heath. There's an amazing field here for Bonnie to play in and socialise. There's a pub just there, the Broughton Arms pub, and there's also a post office and a little shop. But yeah, it's a lovely spot this. And Nicky's just up there past the winding hole. Yeah, fantastic. But I'm convinced <laughs> that God gave us dogs because he loves us and wants yeah. us to be happy. <laughs> We love them. <laughs> so there I was, just working away in my boat, and Roger and Lisa have just knocked on. They're on a boat just up there because they wanted to meet little Bonnie. She's Aww. beautiful, and what you don't see on the camera is how pretty her coat is. Yes. She's absolutely wonderful. She absolutely is. Absolutely wonderful. Gorgeous. We're, we're happy to meet you, but we're even happier to meet Bonnie. <laughs> Sorry, you get that a lot. Don't yeah, <laughs> and that's the way it should be. There you go. She's sweet. She is. Um, Just a quick shout out to Amanda Smith becoming a patron of the channel. Thank you very much. So the fuel boat's due today and I'm down to my last few briquettes of coal, so much needed. And also later on today, I've got a training session with Bonnie, with the behaviorist, Jim, who's absolutely wonderful. And this is the last session now that I've got before me and little Bonnie head over to Europe in the camper van. So the more tips and tricks I can get to help with Bonnie's reactivity, the better. Because although I've had dogs all my life, I've never had a reactive one before. Oh, joys. But she's absolutely gorgeous and so loving. It's just big dogs. So I have said this before, but the fuel boats are the best thing on the canals for us liverboard boaters. They keep us stocked up in coal, diesel, gas. They also do pump outs if you have a pump out toilet. Well, some of them do. And the best thing about them is they put the coal on your boat roof because there's nothing worse than trying to carry 20, 25 kg bags of coal down a muddy towpath in winter. rather moist out there now but luckily we're all stocked up on coal and Bonnie's just had her training session and Jim is just so wonderful if anybody is in the Stafford area and they need a dog trainer he is brilliant because he's got to know a little Bonnie he knows me he's watching how I'm handling her you know I'm doing things right I'm doing things wrong so he's very very good yeah because Bonnie if you remember she's not really got any social skills we've just been working through that and he's given me a few tricks and tips now to use when I go to Europe. Anyway, whilst it is quite moist and damp out there, I'm just going to get the kettle on and chill out for the rest of the afternoon. So I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So this is the nicest, brightest day we've had for a while and I need to get myself down 13 locks, which will take me to Wheelock. And it's gonna take me all day single-handed. I just wish I could just click my fingers and be there like in a minute. Wouldn't that be great? But.
this is lock 66 it's the last lock of the day i've done 13 locks today single-handed i'm just shutting my gates now oh, and 13 locks as a single-hander is just no fun oh. but hopefully now i would have caught up with nikki she should be down here at wheelock and yeah i'm gonna just for a huge run, but it took me all day to get to here. Oh. Come on, buddy. So we've just moored up here now at Wheelock. We mate Nikki's just there and almost up a rear. Yeah, look at this sign. Look at this. I'm 69 miles away from Shardlow. Don't be rude. I tell you what, I'm aching. I am making my back's killing me from pulling the boat through the locks. And yeah, see, this, that's the thing you see when you get to my age, old age is setting in. You can't be single handing 13 locks in a day. It's just not right. And little Bonnie's been good as gold today, apart from when dogs are going past and that. She was barking like mad. But with the boat in and doing the locks, she was fantastic and she had loads of exercise as well. Two days later. So I'm just doing my engine checks before we get cracking. Oh. I can never get back in the hole. <laughs> anyway, I did do some cruising yesterday, but the weather was absolutely horrendous. So I didn't get my camera out. So yeah, so I'm in a different location, but also my friend Nikki on the boat that I've been traveling with, she's got herself a little puppy and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a girl, it's called Finley. She's small at the moment, but she's gonna be a big one. And Bonnie is wonderful with her. She's a sort of chocolate lab and collie mix. She got it from a farm. Wonderful. And it's so lovely watching Bonnie and Finn play together. Beautiful. So over the past few days, me and Nick have single-handed around 30 locks down Heartbreak Hill. It has been an absolute nightmare. I'm aching from head to toe. Anyway, we're sort of on the home stretch now. And we've got another six locks, I think. And my mum is coming today to give us a hand. Oh, and my mum, because I'm near, near home waters now, I'm not far, she, it's, it's a short drive for her to come and help. And she absolutely loves doing the boating. Yeah, so today, my mum's coming. Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> And I've come down and reminded her how to do the lock. But Nikki's there as well, so my mum today is going to help both me and Nikki down these locks. Oh, it's going to be a breeze and it's going to be really good fun as well. I love spending time with my mum. sort of going to be doing it this way for the first few locks is my mum and Nikki get me through and then me and my mum get Nikki through and uh, this lock is actually lock 69 <laughs> yeah the first lock of the day so mum is it good to be back on the boat it certainly is yeah I love it yeah. I do love it yeah it's good fun, isn't it? I'm so glad that you're um, near home again, even though I speak to you every day on FaceTime. It's lovely that I can actually just pick you up and bring you home and go out together somewhere. That's lovely. I miss that. So we're coming into Middlewich now, and anything with witch in the name, such as Northwich, Nantwich, Middlewich, they're famous for their salt it's the salt industry and this here used to be and I'm not sure if it still is it was Saxa salt and you remember it back in the day don't you mum yeah I certainly do it used to have Saxa written all across that building there my dad when he was young um, he saved a young boy from drowning in this canal yeah he did I can't I, I don't know what the story was I can't remember now it's so long ago so what happens when you get old So having lock crew is just, oh, it's a game changer. It's brilliant, it makes it so much faster because the locks are the hard bits. Standing on your boat and driving it, that's easy. But doing the locks is the hard work and yeah, 
makes a big difference to me. So another lock done and dusted. The thing is with this part of the canal is it runs along the main road. So it's not a brilliant place to moor because it's quite noisy. But it is convenient for people visiting here, going to the shops, things like that. But yeah, it's a bit of a noisy road. And there's loads of swans here, look at these. so much easier with me and Nikki both setting the locks for each other with my mum helping but here now we've got the King's Lock pub which is a fantastic little pub and also there's a chippy and that chippy is one of the nicest chippies on the system but yeah you always have a good chippy from there nice big sausage <laughs> kids entertain haven't you Hooray, Hardy! for those of you that say pirates didn't exist on the canals well they do now and we were all kids once weren't we You've got to keep the fun alive and the sense of adventure, especially in these young minds. So we're all moored up here now at Middlewich. I managed to get myself some batteries from my tree. <laughs> yeah. Rude. And my mum's left now, but before she went, I did get her to help me package up the last of my badge orders. And that's it now. The website's going to be shut until February and my Etsy shop. Thank the Lord. If I see another badge now, it'd be too soon. <laughs> but tomorrow morning, I'm going to be cracking on because I need to get this boat somewhere safe for Christmas and when I go to Europe. everyone I've just started up the old girl but yeah it's proper cold today even the run wench is freezing her nips off have a look at this and Bonnie's on a blanket and got a jumper on and I've got my thermals on and my nice thick duck down jacket proper cold but we're going to be dropping down the last lock for me now this for a while and that's big lock about the big lock is you can get two boats in it so me and Nick's are gonna go down together It was at this point I realised I'd left my windlass at the lock, so I had to reverse back for it. Oh bless you, thank you very much. just come down the lock and filled up at the water point I was so lucky that there was a lady on that bridge when I did come down the lock because I left me windlass up there and she passed it to me bless her 
So anyway, I've made a brew. So I've got a nice brew here, my pirate mug. Woohoo, so cheers. And I've also got, because I've got no more locks now, I've also got this out. Yeah, got me rum in it. So I'll be topping a little bit of this into my coffee as we go along now. I'll never have a drink when I'm single hand in locks, but I'll have a drink the rest of the time. Pirate coffee, Woo! just wet in the lips, top ones. So I'm really gonna miss traveling with me mate, Nikki. She's such a lovely, kind person and a right good laugh as well. We've had so much fun together. But this is the thing you see on the canals is you travel with people if you're both going the same way and stuff and then you get to a junction or something happens and you both go your separate ways. But I'll catch up with her next year. I haven't decided where I'm going next year and I don't think Nikki has. Oh, but you do meet some really good people on the canals. this time of year is it's bloody cold it really is and it's different if I'm out on a walk with little Bonnie we can go for hours and everything's fine because you're moving but when you're on a narrow boat you're stood still and you get so cold very quickly So just moored here at Bramble Cuttings and this is a gorgeous little mooring. It's on the offside so the public don't come through here. You can only get to it by boat. So it's a really lovely little place. Bonnie's off a lead exploring and just loving it. She's free. Yeah, and it's a fabulous place. I can't believe I'm the only boat here, but it is winter. So <laughs> yeah, it's just lovely. So I love it here at Bramble Cuttings. It's so magical, especially over winter. But I'm only going to miss my mate Nikki. We've parted ways now. I mean, next year we'll probably catch up again. But this is the thing on the canals. You'll cruise with people for a while because you're both going the same direction. And it's been good for me and Nick's because we're both solo females. We're both single hand in our boats. So it's been company and we've been helping each other. But yeah, so we'll probably catch up again sometime next year, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. mums and we're going to have some of this this is from Captain Glenn Captain Glenn has been so generous and it's a black spiced rum I'll do pour it I've got to watch the horns there so let's just pour that there we go so I'm going to be mum and dad's now ready for Christmas and it's the calm before the storm before my nieces and nephews get here so cheers everyone a little Christmas drink mmm that's absolutely gorgeous and if you have enjoyed the video please do give it a like subscribe if you haven't already but before I go and celebrate with my family I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching and to all my lovely gorgeous patrons take care everyone stay safe and please have a wonderful wonderful Christmas <laughs>